Well, hello on this Wednesday, just a couple hours, the uh, autumnal equinox is upon us. That means the sun's strongest rays, the direct rays, 90 degrees perpendicular, uh, that's been in the Northern Hemisphere for the last six months, moves into the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, it's their turn to warm up. 221 this afternoon is when that happens, uh, crossing the equator. And it's Latin for uh, equal night, but it's not actually equal day and night for most of us. In fact, we have nine minutes more daylight than night. But by the weekend, we're even, 12 hours and 12 hours. And there's a lot more to explain to why exactly that is, but not particularly important today. This is the fastest decreasing light of the year, though, right now, September 18th to October 1st. We lose three minutes and six seconds a day. Uh, no point else in the year do we lose that much light that quickly. So it's not just your imagination. Things are changing quickly, along with, of course, the temperatures, which we finally had our first night in the 40s, officially in the Twin Cities at the airport. Now, I know many suburbs have, but at the airport, 46 this morning. That comes about three and a half weeks late. Look at Hibbing, 29 degrees this morning, frosty for many spots on the Iron Range that haven't had frost yet. Hibbing has, but uh, a lot, most of those places have not yet, but a lot more did this morning. And of course, across the metro in the 40s and just north of the metro, you can see where the line of 30s uh, hits uh, just into northwestern Wisconsin uh, and north of the Twin Cities suburbs. Now, September so far has been a very mild month, of course, and September is one of our fastest warming months. December the fastest warming right now. September comes in second. This is our seventh consecutive month of warmer than normal temperatures. And right now it looks like we're gonna end up probably about the 21st warmest September. So probably not the top 10, but here's that temperature trend since 1873. You can see it is rising. And again, December the fastest and uh, September the second fastest warming month. And year to date, yeah, when we look at all the years up through the end of September, we're about ninth, it looks like, for the warmest year uh, to date on record. And we'll see what these final few months have, but uh, another milestone reached. Sometime this happens in September, usually the minimum of Arctic sea ice at the end of the Arctic summer. Uh, and it is the 12th lowest. You can see where the orange line is. That's the normal line where it should be that ice. And you can see big gaps there uh, all around the ice. So uh, a lot less ice than normal, but again, not in the top 10 lowest. So some slightly good news there, I guess when we're looking at not record shattering, but high pressure has been giving us the sunshine, more sun today and tomorrow. We've been on the cool side of this, air moves clockwise around that high, but on the back side, we're gonna start to see some southerly flow. So warmer tomorrow, we're talking temperatures pushing back into the low 70s, and then cool air comes in quickly Friday already. So one day warm up tomorrow, and then along that cool front, we could see a couple showers, a few more clouds tomorrow. That'll push us back into the 60s too here Friday and Saturday. But then uh, we are looking at warmer air moving back in already by Sunday. So here's the front. You can make out a broken line of some very light showers tomorrow. Nothing crazy for your Friday, but maybe some late morning uh, brief sprinkles or a light shower. And then as I mentioned, a cool start to the weekend, Saturday probably in the 60s, but then heading into Sunday, warm air blasts back in pretty quickly. We're talking 70s, maybe 80s already Sunday afternoon. And then it'll be very warm on Monday too, well into the 70s, if not another 80 potentially for some of us in Southern Minnesota. So today, just beautiful, 68 after that chilly morning, uh, back into maybe the upper 40s around 50 tonight, 72 though tomorrow. And then Friday, we do see that front come through touches off maybe a brief shower potentially and then uh, a cool start to the weekend 40s again Saturday morning 66 in the afternoon but yeah look at Sunday I think uh, low 80s with the sunshine it will be breezy out of the south and then Monday still pretty warm too as some slightly cooler air though starts to make its way back into the area.